Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new PTCGO video. I am your host, The Poker Knight, and for today we will be looking at a very, very nasty deck. Uh, if I don't say so myself, and once we get it loaded, come on, PTCGO, load, load, there we go. So, in the deck we are looking at today is the Vile Plume Ninja Box deck. This is Mark II because I've made several judgments to the original one that I did, but this is the deck that I am completely, completely happy with. So first off, we have our two shamans, uh, one for like one regular. Two shamans is vital. It is normally I probably would go with Octillery, but um, I feel that Octillery would slow this deck down and Shaman is just the way to go. Uh, you could potentially run three Shamans, but I think two is just enough what you need, uh, as you will see later. Now this is where, uh, we'll first roll off what were the main things. We've got three Oddish, we have, oh come on, three Gloom, and we have the main nasty himself, Vile Plume right here with the Iter an Iterating Pollen ability, which means that each player can't play any item cards from his or her hand. It's nasty. Like, and we are not attacking with Vileplume whatsoever. It's just there to sit on our bench to stop people using item cards because everyone uses item cards and it really slows down the deck. And we are using this in combination with Ninja Boy uh, right here. So Ninja Boy, choose one of your basic Pokemon in play, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, switch it with that Pokemon, any attached cards, damage counter, special conditions in play, and any other effects remain on the new Pokemon, it basically stays on that Pokemon, and then shuffle the first Pokemon into your deck. Uh, we run three copies of that. So you may so what we're going to be using with it. So first of all, um, we're going to be using Umbreon EX. Now, Umbreon is quite a good card, a one-off card, um, with a, with the first attack um, for one colourless energy, Veil, Dar Veil of Darkness, does 20 damage and it has a nice little effect where if you discard as many cards um, as you like from your hand, then draw that many cards. So you've just got like a stack of item cards that you cannot use, you just want to get rid of them and draw new cards, Umbreon is your way forward and end game for one darkness energy and for two dark and uh, colorless energy for 70 damage if your opponent knocks a mega evolution pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack take two more prize cards and as you know mega evolution EXs you know if you knock them out you take two prize cards anyway so you're doing this that's four prize cards that is nasty 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 we have our eveltal and eveltal is quite good with evil ball with the more um energy that is attached to it then it does 20 more damage and then why cyclone you can move that any ener any energy that you have if it's going to sort of die you can move it into a fresh new pokemon it is lovely now we're getting on to somewhat some of the main attackers uh, we have, we run two Jolteon, and Jolteon in this deck is amazing. First of all, free retreat, which is always good, always really good. Swift for one lightning energy is, it's okay, but it's really the flash ray for one lightning energy and two colorless energy for 70 damage. So in your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by the effects from basic Pokemon. This shuts down your basic Pokemon. They can't literally attack, which means they'll have to use like their supporters that they don't want to use to get rid of this card, or I would say items, but we are completely blocking their items, so it's really good. And then we have Glaceon here. We have two Glaceons, and Glaceon is really good for those evolution Pokemon, so things like like the Mega um, Pokemon, but also like your Vespaquins, your Raichus, Strikers, all of those like stage one, stage twos, breaks, like they're just not going to touch Glaceon at all with its crystal ray attack for one water and two double colorists for 70 damage during your opponent's next turn, prevent 
all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Evolution Pokemon. And then our other one that we run two of is, of course, Reshi Ice, which for Resistance Blizzard for 70 damage from one water and two double color, uh, colorless during your opponent's next time to prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your Pokemon EXs. So, including effects, because um, they just prevent like the damage of it, but the effects of it, not, and uh, they still get it, but Red Ice just completely destroys it. And I do have. A Mergina EX, just a one, but Mergina is quite good for two things. First of all, Soul Blaster for one Steel Energy and for two Double Colors Energy, 120, but it is 120 damage, so it's really good against those Mega Ray, uh, Mega Gardevoir um, decks that are cropping up. But sadly, during your next turn, this Pokemon Soul Blaster attack space is 60, so it loses the 60, which is very, which is. Quite a shame, but Mystic Heart is, ability is actually really good as well. Prevent all effects from your opponent's attacks except damage done to each of your opponents and your Pokemon that has any metal energy attached to it. Existing effects are not removed. So that will come into importance in a moment. So let's have a look at our trainer card. So we run two level balls just to get our audition glooms. Uh, we want one special charge uh, just so that we can get our special energies back into our deck if we happen to discard them very early to get our hand rolling. One super rod to try and get some of our cards back into the deck. Uh, you probably could replace this with maybe Brock's Grit but we don't really want a lot of basic energy so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Only two trainers mail. I no, actually, we're on four. Actually, I thought we were on. I don't know why I saw two, but four trainer mail. Uh, so we can just try and get our supporters, our items, and uh, we run four ultra balls so we can get our vile plume or our yexes, our shamans, all that kind of thing. We don't run any hoopas because we don't want to clog up the bench too much, and hoopa would just be sitting there. Uh, there would be no point in having. I mean, who probably, and that's it for all the items. No versus seeker because you're never going to have a chance to use versus seeker. Like I told you, you could possibly fit it in the deck somehow, but to be honest, it will be a bit of a hindrance. So we run two Lissandri, uh, really good. You know, if you want, just get those shamans um, that have been benched or any Pokemon that's got really good damage counters on them. We run three ends, uh, one full or two sort of regular. I sort of think it's really good for shuffling your hand uh, and, and really getting the cards that you're really needing. And obviously, we're running three Ninja Boys. You could run four if you want, but three is just a good number. Three Olympia. We don't run any float stones or any switches, so we really need to maximize Olympia in case we ever get Lissandra into a Shaman or even if our Bide Plume gets put on. And um, the active, so we can get rid of it. Four Sycamore, very, very important. And then we run four Forest of Giant Plants. This is vital in order to get like first turn value from going. But also, I wouldn't put this down to three whatsoever. Then we run four Double Colors Energy, just important. This is the energy that's really good for the deck. Four Rainbow Energy. Now, Rainbow Energy cl is classed as every other energy out there, which means, as I've seen about McGeenar EX's ability, this is classed, so it protects this card, so it protects it from Team Flare Grunts, from your special, en um, from your enhanced hammers, crushing hammers, it protects, um, it will protect it with it because it's classed as every other energy, so it's really good. And then we just run one basic. Um, water energy, just because we run Glaceon and um, Glaceon and Reggie Ice a lot more uh, rather than all the others, it's very important that we just we have that as a backup. So that is the deck list. There's it's not necessarily perfect, but you could play around with it to fit your own style if you want to put the versus seekers in. You could, um, but this works really well for me. 
a little bit. I do like it. Uh, like I do kind of like it really a lot. Uh, I'm still kind of twerking, tweaking it here and there. I might like reduce some cards, take some cards out. But I think I've done enough talking and then let's get on with some matches. Um, so as per usual, we will do about, what, two, maybe three matches. So let's get going. And this versus ladder is about to end, which is quite good because Pokemon Center early, they like, oh, it's just not this good. So we are running, ooh, this could be a straight up, um, that if I think I know exactly what this is, it is a Vespaquen Yamega sort of deck. Uh, I think that's what we're going to go first. Uh, if it is, they run so many in in cards. Okay, okay. Hmm. I don't know which, what we should do. We'll go for the Jolteon then now because they can hit it for weakness, I'm sure, especially with the Yamega. Um, so we'll put the Jolteon up, and one thing is well, we, we don't run a lot of equip cards, um, or tool cards even, so that way is also quite good for us. Oh, that's a lot of Pokemon they're benching. Um, we'll leave this one out then now. Let's see what, yep, exactly as I thought, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get our Gloom. I'm going to get that set up straight away. Uh, I am not liking this, so... Next thing is... Okay. What we're going to do is... We'll discard this. Now, let's have a look at what we're running with. Okay. You might, you're, you're going to find this weird, but we're going to get the Vileflume. And then we're going to discard the fire plume. I know we just kind of like we just got it and we're discarding it, and um, because we want to just lessen the amount of thin our deck a little bit, we'll get the shaman. We'll draw for six, and let's see what we get. We've got the rainbow energy, so that is good. But we didn't get anything else. We didn't, oh, okay. And yes, you do take 10 damage from using Rainbow Energy, but it's a good price. And that, um, what we'll then do, actually, we'll, um, Super Rods, we'll get these two back into the deck. And then we'll, we'll in. Let's see what we we'll get. And, uh, this is just not, it's not good enough. Not good enough at all. Um... Giant of Force Plants, that's just not exactly good enough, right? That is going to be it for us now. Um, let's just put that out. Yeah, that's going to have to be it for now. There's nothing we can do. That was our first turn. So, uh, very disappointed in that. And evolve. Oh, because I forced down for his plans. I didn't think about that. Ah, no. Shizer. Um, okay, that's one. So we've got to keep track of how many Pokemon are going in. So, the, okay, there's going to be Zilch, which I don't understand why you don't want to do that. Um, okay, so, let's see. So you're doing, so you've got your four cards. So you can literally hit us for 50 straight off the bat. Um, are you going to do it, though? Are you going to do it? Are you going to... No, he's not. Oh, he's going straight for the Oddish. Oh, sneaky. But, and then you got your card. Now, I would attack. Yes, you would. That's good. Okay. Let's put us as a bit of a disadvantage to now. Um, which is not really great. Um, okay. We are going to discard this hand. And hopefully we get a good hand out of this. Right. I am going to need enough. Oh, okay. This is just not looking good. Let's try and force him to... We're going to try and force him into 
putting... Oh, we could have went for the Shaman. Oh, that was a bad misplay. Okay. Now we'll just play that. We are going to attack for Flash Ray. And we'll get, we'll get a prize. So it's not a Jolteon. Okay, okay. But I don't need, I need a Ninja Boy. I want actually a Ninja Boy so I can evolve and so I can switch it for a Glaceon. Oh no. Okay. It's not too bad. We can still knock it out with our Jolteon. Not end of the world. Um, but if they're still wanting to do their four, their three attacks, he would have to do it now. Why is he playing another trainer's mail? Like, is he really... Oh, you, you lucky. Like, now he's... he's What he's probably going to do now, he's going to discard two cards and get a Shaman. Because he can. But he's playing such a risky game. Oh, you had an N and you didn't N. What? Wait a minute, why? What? How, hold, the, hold on. Unless you've got a Shaman in your hand. But you just messed up versus Seeker. Okay. I don't know. It's always kind of confusing when you see it. You're like, whoa, what's going on here? Like, but, oh my god, like, so he's, he's quite good. But again, like, you're playing such a risk. You, you're playing a big risk. Right, so you're evolving. Another train mail so you can get. God, he's doing so much. Another f unknown. I'm always kind of like, it's it's always interesting what they kind of, what they have there in their mind and think what they can do. Like, oh, we can do this, this, and this, and that. Um, but, oh my god, this is just not so good right now for me. He's not. In fact, has he actually had any double colors energy at all? That was actually an interesting thing. Are you stuck? Another versus seeker. Right, so you go for another versus seeker, but you've already used a versus. You already used a supporter this turn. There's the double. There is there. But I will be able to knock that out straight off. And oh, there it's there. But mm, I don't know. I'll grab it then now. No, in fact, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab the Sycamore because I'm going to need to get rid of this hand shortly. I'm gonna put another Jolteon down, put this down. And uh should I should I should I should I how many Pokemon has he got in there? Six so he's gonna do at least eighty and then uh could be fine. If I already played a special energy, let's just check. God, that's okay. Right, we're going to sucker more. We're going to get rid of this hand. Okay. Hmm. Do you know what? Let's make him realize that he's going to find it really tough. Because I am going to put another Oddish down. And then we're going to put our Glooms down. And this one's only weak to fire, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna go flash ray. Hit for the weakness. Gain a prize card, which is an ultra ball. Okay, okay. That is good. That is good. So if it slightly goes a bit to plan, then this can be good. I have a feeling about this. I have a feeling this is actually turning out to be a really Really good match. Oh, so you're losing two cards from it. Okay, okay. Puts one down, evolves it. Sucker more again. Okay. Quite right on that. So, okay. It's always interesting. Um, Acrobite, you are thinning your deck really bad, like much. In fact, the interesting thing is we're both kind of thinning our, thinning our decks um, so much. Um, I've been doing more so than he has. Um, oh, we got rid of that. Oh, that's a that's a, ooh, that's a risk. Because the thing is, if I, I can get Vileplume, um, 
I can get value from the next turn. Special charge, right? Okay, so he managed to get it get it back. Which which was lucky for him. He's got a shame and he's really thinning that deck down. Um Acro Bike, he's down to ten cards. Because he just got another thing way, so this Jolteon is going down regardless. Um even I kind of know that. But and he's gaining back to Okay. I bet he'll retreat that to then use um, his Yamega so that he doesn't have to use Jolteon. And if that ever becomes the case, I'm hoping for a Ninja Boy. Um, like, I think we've only seen one, or I've not seen any more Ninja Boys, so I just went for that. Okay, okay. We want a ninja boy now. Ninja boy? No, Olympia. Okay, this is a bit worrying because in fact no, it could still be okay. I'll we'll just attach this on. Let's I'm gonna i I'm gonna have to slow him down. Um No, let's just do, I mean, look, look at the cards that we have. We could, could we go for Shaman? A play, do you know what? I want him to really slow down a little bit. We need to start gaining a bit of control here. Um, so we're gonna go for this now. Let's add up quickly. So that's five, seven is what he's gonna do. Like he's not got enough to one shot. He won't have enough to one shot me at all. Um, okay, right. So we're going to go for a flash ray. Right, okay. Because I am totally banking on this next move. Right, right. I don't know, is that enough? Um, because that'll be four, four, seven, ten. Uh, no, it still won't be enough. It still won't be enough. It's going to sky return. Oh, that's interesting. Right. But I think what I want. Oh no! Oh, you. Oh, Glaceon, why did you have to do that? Um. Okay. This has now become interesting because we are now stuck. Right. Actually, we're not that stuck yet. We could. Let's put down Morgana, so let's protect at least, at least that, and um, we'll flash away. I have an idea, I have an idea. I do have an idea. Um, he was hoping on doing some damage to us. You know, but he's, the problem is he's not going to have much shaman anyway. 13. Dang it, dang it, right. Oh, this is, um, this is not good. It's not good. We need... I am going to get this down. We... I know we're going to just be powering up his, his discard pile, but we need something. My ends all gone. Yes, they are. Ah, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Right. 
<clears throat> he only did like 150. So he's not got enough to, no. Oh, he's, he's actually won this. Oh God, right. Oh, this is just, this is bad. This, this is bad. Um, not even I can actually do anything about this. Like it's, it's completely, completely buggered. Um, because that was my second Jolteon. I don't think I have anything sort of left. Uh, I just don't think I do. Shaman, no. No, that's, that's game. That is game. We'll do this. We'll see how it, it kind of goes. That is game. Like, mm, we had like, he, I kind of feel what kind of went wrong is that we didn't get the first turn by Oplum. Like, we, and the problem is we can't even put, uh, I'm going to say, well played. Right. He did good, like, he knows that like, it was very hard for it. just go for the opening blow, that is good, he did. It was, that was well, that was a well played game. Um, like, we, like, it's the first, like, probably what I'm going to say is, like, we need that first turn Vile Plume, because as you can see, like, he just used so much, like, item cards that it literally kind of slowed, like, it slowed, like, it didn't slow us down in that, but it prevented us from actually doing anything. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, we can't even see his deck. Oh. So we lost that one, which is, I'm not mad actually, I'm not mad at that, it was a good one. So let's go for round two, and let's, and I think we'll make this the final, final match. We'll see if we can try and get a win with this one, and we are just going to be waiting, waiting. So, so is there any decks that you are currently playing right now that is very... You know, that's a bit different you know, from the morning, or very kind of like annoying. Uh, in fact, all speaking of that, like, what are like your most like annoying deck, um, like even like decks or cards? A lot of people are going to say Night March, Night March are annoying, Vespa Quinn, but I don't know, they're not all that bad. Um, okay, let's go for Jolteon. Uh, we, we always have to go for Jolteon just because Jolteon is the first turn. Um, mm, we'll put, we'll put one Glaceon on the bench and we'll see what he kind of does. Oh, 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 this is interesting. Oh, this is very interesting. Right, let's get Oddish out. Oh, this is, this is kind of, okay. Get that, let's in because we're gonna need we're gonna need cards. And oh we could actually do it. Oh my god. Oh I feel so bad. Right. We're gonna put this out. Oh I feel so bad that we're actually doing this. We're gonna do that. We are gonna get the gloom. We're gonna get that first turn vile plume. Oh because the moment you do that, it's game over. And that's it. We are now item locked. Let's get the shaman. Let's get our six. Replenish our hand. And oh, this is not that good. It's not that good, but we'll do it. Um, but we're item locked. But there's nothing we can actually really do now. Unless he, if he ends me, which I hope he does. I hope he does because I need... I need a rainbow energy in that, but oh, this is going to be interesting because now we get to see what the deck is like on the first turn. I'll say, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of the shaman because we don't need the shaman. Um, he's going to attach. He's going to. Oh, you would as well. 
going to do for that. So he's potentially stalling us a little bit. Rainbow Energy? No. Um, okay. Let's do the Olympia. Just get this out again. And then we're done. Yeah, so we're protecting our Vileplume, um, which we really are wanting to do, right? Because we don't want Vileplume gone. Ideally, we'd like to. Oh no, the Dark Cry. Oh no. No, no. In! Oh, thank God you're going to be a lifesaver. Let's see. What are you going to give us? I wouldn't have played in, but if it was only his last resort, then. Oh no! Well, we have our in, so that's. I just him ring. Oh no! Okay. No, it's okay. It's, it's fine now. Um, what are you sort of weak to psychic, nervous system, fighting? We don't run no fighting. In our, but we do have our Glaceon, so even what we could even do is like we can always Ninja Boy into our Glaceon, but if we can get a Rainbow Energy, so if we can get a Rainbow Energy um, sort of going, and then next turn we can always um, go into our um, Rage Ice. And, that, and then that, we would be kind of sorted. Even if, actually, to be honest, actually, forget, Jolteon were even fine. It's like, I don't know what we're worrying about. <laughs> it's like, oh, I keep forgetting how good Jolteon is as well. Oh no, that's extra damage. For all those feed up our thing of living wings, down for 40. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Rainbow energy. No! Right, we're going to put the Magina out. And we're going to have to end uh, because we need that rainbow energy. Oh, we didn't draw. We drew. We didn't want two more. Oh, this is bad. That I mean, honestly, like this is actually looking really bad for us. Right, we're going to put Red Ice out, and we're going to at least get that sorted, powered up. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, uh, we had a good start, but obviously because we don't run like a lot, because we're item locking ourselves, it makes it just a lot tougher for us to actually get anything. I think the next best thing we need is a secret more, and um, so we can discard our hand. But he's even getting himself set up. If I can get a rainbow energy, then now, not what I wanted. But I'm going to get rid of this. Not what I wanted. Oh, come on. Because Ian... Uh, he's, why, why are you not doing... Come on, you. Like, you could have went for... No, that's what I need. That, that's exactly what I need. Farsi Seeker, there goes. So he's... Gonna, he got a Sucker more. But I need a Sucker more. Um, I need a Sucker more or a Rainbow Energy here. Come on, someone help me out here. Oh, that's it. We were saying goodbye to this hand. And there it is. There's the Rainbow Energy. That's what I've been looking for. I'm going to attach it to this. And then we are going to Flash Ray. We hit for weakness, which is good. We're going to get a prize card. And it's a Ultra Ball. Okay, okay. So let's see how this does. So he's going to bring his Dark Cry, but he's not going to be able to do any damage to us. Oh, he's going to try. In fact, he can't even set up Guard of um, Garbador because he, he can't even. Nope, we're protected. We are protected, my friend. Um, Flash Ray. So we're just going to be doing, we're just going to be chipping at the damage because essentially that's what you're going to be doing a lot is you're just chipping away at the damage. If I can, and we win, we win because there's enough, like, in all honesty, right, he probably couldn't do anything, right, he's filled up his bench, he couldn't get an item on Garbador to, to switch off Fireplume or anything, so, and what do we get? We get 50 coins, that is nice. Um, done and I think so as a plot summary as a deck summary right what are the good things about this deck okay with Viaplume we item lock um, our, not only ourselves but our opponents 
Um, we run obviously, you know, Jolteon, Glaceon, Regice, um, Umbreon. It can help us help out. Obviously, you've just seen us. You just seem like mostly use Jolteon, but you see how effective that is. Really good. We do run little items which helps us at the beginning, which is very good and it is very important. And we also run our supporters, as you can see, like the more supporters you need. I think I'm going to need to try and work out a way to get more drawing power. Maybe taking away, um, taking away the ultra, maybe replacing the trainer of me with acrobikes so I can essentially just get in my deck a little bit quicker. And then obviously our energies, which came in very clutch, very handy. Rainbow Energy really being one of the biggest like stars of the show. Disadvantages though, because we item lock ourselves, um, we can't then play any items. And you can see it, that we've been struggling like to get energies attached. And I think if we had a much faster pace go like method going, we probably could have won like that first match that we did. And obviously, of course, we run a very heavy EX deck, so we're, you know, less prize cards. If they were to get Fireplume away, it opens up to their um, item cards. And it's, we don't run any versus seed cards, so it's very hard to gain back sort of momentum. And we could, and we do lose, sometimes lose that momentum with this deck. But... What do you guys think of this deck? Do you think this deck is actually really good? Do you think it's really strong, competitive? Do you think it's enough to kind of um, take on the world? I don't think so. I think it's it's very good. It has too many problems. It's not really got a good consistency going. Um, if I had to rate this deck out of 10, I would rate it about 7. Uh, just like it's a very good, good deck. I love it. Um, Ninja Boy can come in handy as well. Um, but... Again, it's just it has too many problems, too many inconsistencies going. Maybe it just needs something a little bit more to kind of push it in that way. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, if you have liked this video, then make sure you leave a like if you and obviously a dislike if you disliked it. Share this video with a friend and not and remember also to subscribe as well for future PTCGO content and obviously, of course, regular TCG product openings as well. I have been The Polka Knight and thank you for watching my video and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.